why don't you tell us about that, the, the different doors um, that God's opening for you to take your music out there into different arenas to share it with other people. What's, what's happening, Rachel? Well, primarily we sing in our local church, mm -hmm. but we do feel that God is opening doors, as you say, into other areas, and, and mm -hmm. Petra felt specifically into dark areas. Mm -hmm. um, we have sung at a, a sort of mums and toddlers group, mm -hmm. which is for unmarried mothers. Um, and we've also got an opening to sing to the homeless mm -hmm. um, sometime next month. And how, how do you find they're, they're touched by what you do, particularly with the toddler group? What, what yeah, we, we didn't get an awful lot of feedback, did we? One person definitely disagreed with what we were singing about and said, oh, well, that's, that's for you, that's not for, not mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. um, but the general opinion was, yeah, it's good. You know, mm -hmm. people, I think people at the moment are generally open to receive. They're looking for something mm -hmm. to fill that gap in their life. Yeah. And yeah. if we can help, you know, implant something of Jesus into them, mm -hmm. then it's isn't, isn't it wonderful that, you know, you're just out of the local church, being faithful in church, and, and not a lot of people really understand that. They're, they're looking for the, the big ministry, you know, the big platform, and, and you know, it's never probably been on your agenda to have a record contract or anything like that. You just, you've been in the local church, being faithful there and just loving God. And, and out of that, and out of that experience, songs have started to come. And then God's going, I want to use you. I want to touch your community through what you're doing. And even if you only ever touch your community and, and you continue to do so, I mean, that's such a reward enough, isn't it? Is that, your, is that your heart's desire right now yeah, with what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. everyone's important to God, you know. Um, and there's just so many people that need to hear, you know, the, the good news. Mm -hmm. so. That's right. I think that, you know, when God, God touches your life and uh, has compassion on you and restores you from a broken place, mm -hmm. um, you, you don't want it just for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you feel like when you see people suffering and broken hearted and in, in, in need, you, you want to share that, you want to mm -hmm. share Jesus with them and mm -hmm. uh, see them healed and mm -hmm. restored. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's our heart really. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. Tim, come over here. Petra, why, why don't you tell the people at home just to encourage them how God's changed you through uh, what you've been doing with the girls and, and just your heart for Jesus and how you'd like to encourage them to, to touch their world. Yeah. Um, I'd just like to say that um, Jesus is wonderful and that he loves you and um, that he's able to meet every desire that is in your heart. Um, Rachel, Barbara and I have had such a passion and a desire to serve the Lord and to sing for Him. And uh, within ourselves we don't feel that we're able, but we know that with Jesus we can do all things. And I'd like to encourage you that whatever desire and passion you've got, no matter what, what situation you're in, whether you feel like you're in the pit or that you're not able or that nobody sees you, but Jesus sees you and he's able to use you and, um, and make you effective. That's great. Yeah. Baba, why don't you share with the people too? <coughs> right. Encourage them. Yeah. Well, again, the Lord has just blessed me so much in my life. Um, he's, he's just turned all the bad places into good places and he's just continuing to do that. And, and I just underline what, what Petra has just said, no matter how black it seems, God can bring you out into the light, you know, um, and you're going to look back and you're, you're just going to not be able to believe how God has turned your life around. And all you have to do is just turn to him and he'll do it. That's great, Barbara. Rachel, a final word from the, the harmonic mums. <laughs> He's a big God. You yes. know, there's nothing too big that God can't overcome. Um, just look to Him and He'll meet every need. Old ways are gone.